I want you to picture it's 2006. All right? Mm -hmm. We went back in time. It's 2006. We're one of the lucky ones. We just got a PlayStation 3. And I also... Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I also picked up every single game. So we should have no shortage of things to try out. Okay. All right. Do you remember? I got mine shortly after launch. Like, a few days after. I got a launch unit, but it was shortly after. Yeah. You got a CCH uh, E model, which yeah. was shortly after, like, March 2007. Yeah, I got mine, like, was it four to five months after that? My pops got me one. The MotorStorm bundle. Yeah, I yeah. had that one. So you got that one. But we still had it at a time where, you know, software was not that... Mm -hmm. Good games were far and few between. Right. Uh, but at launch, there were some... Some good, <laughs> some games that were good, and some that weren't so good. But let's go down memory lane here. Yeah. You'll also see that I'm running a uh, older console here. This yep. is firmware two point. Uh, I don't remember what. Take two me back, man. I've never seen this a lot. I mean, like the little orange uh, news feed in the corner. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, a lot as a kid. I miss when it was completely dark. Mm -hmm. You could set the XMB to be straight up black. Yeah. And then they they remove that for whatever reason. Racing. That's fine. Ridge Racer 7. Oh, Lord. Launch title. Ugh. Which, this game, <laughs> one of the very few titles throughout all PlayStation uh, PlayStation 3 history, full 1080 60. Is it? 10, 1080p, 60 frames. I never owned this. Day one. I never owned Ridge Racer. Man, this feels. <laughs> <laughs> DualShock 3. Yeah. <laughs> Like my five is more, so I'm kind of like not using the size of it anymore. I love the dual sense, but like that's always a throwback holding an old dual shock. Uh, Doesn't it look good though? It does. So I'm like, oh, you just drift. Ain't no, ain't no button. For yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> you just do it. I think it's just that and like. Holy smokes. Maybe we set the bar too high because now you're gonna play those other, the other games and it'll look so washed out compared to this because it's so sharp looking. I never played it as a kid, never seen it or played it like that, so it's kinda nice to actually get a I guess retrospect will be like looking at it now. Mm -hmm. The other thing too is that, and I don't know if you remember this, but Ridge Racer has been a launch title for like a lot of platforms. Has it? Yeah, yeah. Um, multiple PlayStations, I think. One Nintendo handheld. Can't remember which one. The 3DS it came out on or I, DS? I think 3DS I would say. I remember assume. if I got seen it before when I bought mine. Yeah. But the last time I like just looked at like the lineup of this franchise, like they were there day one for so many platforms, and uh, PlayStation Three was one of them. Yeah. Yeah, man. Untold Legends, <laughs> Dark Kingdom. I forgot about that game. So, I, I love the PSP entries. Never beat them. But you had them, right? I had them. I was a Diablo, but I love Diablo games. Well, I had two on the PC. Like, obviously, Diablo is the one to... If you're going to pick between them... Yeah, like, that's, that's what I grew up with Diablo, though, so for me. But on PSP, like, Untold <laughs> Legends was fun. However, there was Dark Kingdom on uh, PlayStation 3 on launch day. This one's not very good. Is that bad, though? Well, you... I mean, you can tell me, but I, it just... It didn't review well initially, and I ignored that. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't finish it, I'm sure back then I had a bit of Stockholm Syndrome going, this is fun. <laughs> this is alright. And we're thinking of making like a bad version of a game you didn't care for and set of force to play it. Happens yeah. too often. I mean, well, <laughs> you buy me as yeah. a kid loving it and like, man, this looks good. And you play it and it's like, I didn't pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> it was my birthday gift. So I kinda you kind of kinda have to love it. Yeah. But there was like a part of it too where it's like, you know how like some games are like called launch games and that... It's all it's unspoken, but it's defined as like not very good, but it's a new console and it's kind of exciting and yeah. So regardless of quality, you're still kind of okay with it. Yeah, but you think back to the old PS2 era to this, you grab some, you know, great compared to those. Yeah, games. this is still a bump up from PlayStation Two. Right, so you still appreciate it. I pr I'm pretty much playing this like God of War. I'm just square, square, an occasional triangle just for flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Love it. Now, but you did, did you have this? Yep. You had this one? As a kid, yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Man, it's kind of hard to play. <laughs> it was kind of slow. I can't go this... <laughs> Looking great. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> this frame rate's awful. Son, this is hard to watch. Maybe not. <laughs> 
It's so, bad. It's like in the tw it's well in the um, well under twenty, I would assume. Well, like I said, it's one of those launch games that kind of overlook certain issues or even performance problems, and you just have fun. Yeah, it gotta happen at least kind of something like this. I mean, kind of have to pay for it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> NHL 2K7? I have never played an NHL game in my entire life. I can honestly tell you. I don't know what you and me could possibly add to this, Man, or what we could say. You're asking a lot. But it's a launch game. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious, we're, we're not really into sports titles, and hockey would be like, what, oh, at the bottom? Oh, man. It's that FIFA and baseball is a game I never... I think I've owned. <laughs> Why does this feel like a Grand Theft Auto mission? <laughs> Goal. I, I can't believe I have to cut something out of this. <laughs> Make it use there. We can provide no commentary to this. Uh, we don't know hockey. Just, uh, yeah, we don't know hockey. We don't know everything, guys. You know, just we do the best. How's we the can. game? How's the, the game look? Feels like the best game I played so far today. It looks <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It looks nice. It's it's 60, runs, it runs smooth. It runs smooth. Good. Yeah. Playable. Has some. Cutscenes that look presentable. I like good co-op games like these. You First time. With... Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that? That's right. Hold How'd you do that? Hold square. <laughs> what That's... keeps happening? I don't know. We I don't just, understand. Things keep stopping. We've, we're not playing correctly. Yeah, I guess not. I'm so confused. Yeah. Two schmucks that don't even know what they're doing. But it's still fun. I'm enjoying it just to... I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, like I'm just playing. I never, I never play because like I'm on time. Oh, that's know? me. <laughs> yeah, somehow I never play on time. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Project Eight. Love Tony I Hawk. loved this game. Never played it was a one. lot of fun. Did you have it? Mm -hmm. No. It was I played was it, was it American Wasteland. Like I had that like my Friday height is not playing anymore. Was that right before this? I can't even tell you. I don't know American Wasteland. I've been playing that last. To be honest, this was the last semblance of a normal Tony Hawk before Skate took over. I never played Skate. I think well, yeah. the demo, I never like played it. Yeah, I only played the demo for that as well, but it became apparent very quickly that everyone preferred Skate in that moment. And then Skate blew up years later from a bunch of channels playing the game and streaming it again. Mm -hmm. I think last time I played it, actually, like Tony Hawk career mode. I just like I go to free skate and just, just go. <laughs> I guess that's the difference, right? Is that this tried to like give you that open world? There's missions to do, sort of thing, and yeah, spine transfer with a flip. That was hard. <laughs> well, I, I got it, didn't I? I just didn't land. Uh, no. One <laughs> eighty-five. Oh, video call. Oh, Thank God. A message. Oh, my Nokia. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it's sweet. Mullen! It feels feel like, a little different. It feels more weighted than the other ones. Yeah, I don't feel as uh, floaty, I guess you could say, for me, I feel like. It's just a bit heavier. Although, <clears throat> I guess in the context of it being a launch game for PS3, this was, I, in my view, I would say this was totally worth it. Yeah, Sony Hawk. Yeah. yeah. I like Sony Hawk, wrong game, Sony Hawk, in my opinion. I, like, I didn't think this was a bad game back then. I still don't. I think it's bad. It's, I mean, it runs fine. Yeah, it looks, nice. looks I mean, fine. Bad. Looks okay. Mobile Suit Gundam <laughs> cross <laughs> Crossfire. No, I, no? I have no idea of that. Yeah, I, kid. I know Gundam is. I don't is. either, yeah. I've been into that uh, mech, but I, <laughs> not at all. There's, there's a, a lot of these games, and people like them a lot. You play mech games before at all? Any at all, not Doom Gundam outside of Mech. Any console's fine. I'll take this point. <laughs> Here's the thing: if you, if you could change that question to "Can you name another Mech game?", I would still give you the same reaction. Like, what? What else is there? Uh, Damon X Mach, uh, Mach Games called. Oh, so got that one. Okay. Front Mission. I played Custom Robo as a kid. Okay, now now you're rat rattling some off. I know some games, but I played them. Like I, I'm not a yeah, but, but there's a specific series of games. No, you. My anime was Dragon Ball Z, literally. Only like it's, it's already asking me two things. I don't <laughs> EFF or the the Xeon. I mean, I know this is like a, really this franchise is huge in Japan. In fact, I remember at the time 
when there was like uh, the sales charts were coming out, mm-hmm. and this game was charting very high on PS3 in Japan, and then it was just like nothing in USA. I think it's not as big here as I'm, obviously not, it's not as big as here as there, but still like from new games a lot. I've never taken in a Gundam game. Uh, what can I do? Can I punch? Like, I don't. Oh, sweet. Uh, takes? Okay. <laughs> I picked very easy. Oh. Yeah, another game where the performance pretty rough, but... Yeah, it is. Mission failed. Let me try to get it. Yeah, run that back for you. Oh, Lord. How do you jump? X. Why do I even bother asking? <laughs> Some things are intuitively always X. That was dramatic. I think it, maybe it'll help if I look up the critical reception for this game. This game had a 33% on Metacritic. So I guess if you were a Mobile Suit Gundam fan, this game made you angry. I can't even get to him. <laughs> He's out of bounds. <laughs> Shoot what? him. What? Shoot him. Well, you can go out of bounds. Hey, though. you can see in the map. Look. Zoom out of the map. That's weird, dude. Are you shooting at him? Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, why is he out of bounds? I couldn't uh -oh, get to him. Oh, you're done. He left the map to kill me. <laughs> that sounds a fair design. It's what you get. Tiger Woods, <laughs> PGA Tour 07. Tiger Woods. I like Tiger Woods. I like it's a more games. grounded, more grounded sports game. I love golf games. Or golf game, I should say. What's a career again? Like Begin a... my career as a rookie, Tiger Woods. Hey, we all got to start somewhere, right? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you played Tiger Woods before, or just Hot Shots? I played a little bit before. So you know that like this game is based on like the stick being pulled back and yeah. then straight up, yeah. And that's how you get weird swings like that. You better than that though. <laughs> that was a rough start. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> they both don't look very. Yeah, they're not very satisfied <laughs> with their with their results. The face of used to kill me though. I'm not gonna lie. You know they look pretty good. It did with the scum on his face. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't be. I would not be mad if this was one of my. Games that I picked up on launch day. I must say, so far, your sports game been the best part of this whole uh, launch series. Just, <laughs> I mean, Why? Gameplay, why, but like fundamentally, like, it looks good, it runs well, and it clearly looks better than the previous version of the games on the older consoles. Right, yeah. Okay. Nice. Triple thing <laughs> around you, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every single letter made you saw it at triple bogey. <laughs> you you see that smirk? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that was my triple bogey. Jeez, they spelled the whole thing off for you. Man, I like this game. Nick's getting a little jittery over. Okay, next. <laughs> well, let's. <laughs> Yo. I did not know they had that in these games. Yeah, it's really good. You can hit the crowd. Yeah, he's out. This guy for good. somebody that just hit a lady in the shins, he didn't seem very phased by it. You think he would go phased like a wince? He didn't care. Um, he hit somebody, so... That's funny. We that's didn't hit anybody. Okay. Worth the next-gen price. I saw that back and down, I lost it too. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it too. <laughs> you got their shit. Like, I don't Yeah, like, did the other games do that? I don't know. I thought I clipped through them. <laughs> she, she's there. She's It'd be really cool if that was like a next-gen only feature. Only on PlayStation 3 can you hit the audience. <laughs> Literally. Like, yeah, she reacted to it too. I thought it was going right through her. <laughs> NBA 07? Yeah, man. Another 1080p60 game, actually. <laughs> they advertise it right on the label. Full HD 1080. My uh, other boy Kobe on there. You know I'm gonna have the Kobe. Fan. Yeah. This would be nice to go back on. I right, picked the goat, but I, you know I love Kobe. <laughs> in <full> <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of the title? I, you know what? <laughs> <it's>, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that being like in the game. Let's <laughs> be title game. I thought it was a box art thing. So Where? you know what I, I did have? I downloaded the demo of this. Did you really? Well. Back when I had just gotten my PS3, you know, money was was tight at that point. Right. <laughs> but I had the demo and I played a lot of that demo. Never had the full game. Did you? Yeah. Need a cover character? There's no way. He's on the cover. This is what happens when I shut up for two seconds. I can start playing the game. All right. <laughs> I get cocky and I gotta win this game. <laughs> <laughs> makes, the, makes the most baller move you could have made in that at that moment. You you know it's coming. So I guess we should probably do it now. My favorite launch game I had. 
yep. everybody's favorite launch game, Resistance Fall of Man. Uh, what was your opinion on this? Do you remember like what your initial take was when you know Insomniac Games was moving from Ratchet to this? I was surprised, honestly. Yeah. Then the fact they go for such a mature title game, I guess you know. I played some of this game online too, and I had it in my house as a kid. Yeah. Way too much. Yeah. So you played a lot of the online for one. Yep. I played a lot of twos online. Yeah, I didn't. Because it had the 60-player matches, mm -hmm. and, it, and then it had a co-op mode, too, which I liked a lot at the time. Mm -hmm. But this has a great... Uh, crouch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you just <laughs> shoot your uh, secondary missiles. right away? I want a circle grenade. Yeah, it is adjusting. Triangles, that. Yo, my man flew. And R click R3 to uh, aim down sights. Oh, my God. It's like riding a bike. You can't forget it. <laughs> Yo, real talk, I don't feel that bad, though. I've, I've played worse, no, with, it, I've played worse it, with reasoning than this. It's I've like unconventional... Well, at the time, it was unconventional controls, but I think it works. You go, you leave me. It still feels good. First time playing level one? Come on. Down this way. So all in all, you, you would say this is, uh, this is held up. Probably the best gameplay so far. Probably up there. Barring the sports. I like sports games. Yeah. Hold up pretty well in general because there's. Sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. They ran well. They didn't have too many glitchy problems. Yeah. But I think I have like a launch game, like, you know, yeah. This it gets my approval. It's up its time, but it was a. Uh, it's a great title. It's a great game. Plus, I'll, you know, this is a good co op shooter. I really enjoy it. Yeah. Great co op shooter. Good multiplayer. Day one, you were playing for free, and this was the launch game to get. And for good reason. Bla <laughs> <laughs> Blazing Angels, Squadrons of World War II. Do, I do you do you remember yes, this? Yes, I remember this game. You I, do. I remember seeing this a lot, like in store shelves, when I like going to games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Games. I remember seeing that game a lot. But I, I suck I've, at pilot. I suck at these kind of games. I never Ace played combats. I like Ace Combat. I suck at it. But I've never played Blazing Angels. No, but I am trash. No. <laughs> I am not good at these games. I'm good. Well, you can choose motion, sense of... Con uh, I think got, that might be, on, I think that might actually be the way to do it. You gotta turn that on, man. Get in the air. Tilt up the six-axis controller. How's it feel? I mean, it, it, so far, so good. Actually, you know what? It does kind of feel quite nice. Motorstorm had the same thing. Motion, six-axis. But it was, like, super sensitive. Like, I don't know how anybody could play like that. I'm, I'd be lying to you if I said this doesn't actually work in a sensible way. I am extremely <laughs> focused right now. Can I give it a shot? Oh, now you see, now you're, you're feeling it. I give it a try. Right. I never buy myself ever, really see for myself, so. Yeah, let's see how you feel about this. Yeah, I'm cowering down on this one. No, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you gotta play it how I was doing it. Okay. Uh, how do you... It, <laughs> it, it works. It's practical. It does, It's not bad. No, it's not. But it's definitely a... Uh, I, like I can't move too much. That Sure, but like, <laughs> I'd say this is one of the best feeling motion games on PS3. Roll. No. I ain't right now. Well, you're trying to land is what it looks like. That frame. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I got broke the game. There's the performance hiccup with this one. <laughs> Got a little too chaotic there. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Next is, uh, yeah, you remembered this one. Genji, Days of the Blade. Yeah. This was also the one that famously uh, Sony had a tech demo on mm -hmm. stage during E3, and they said, uh, you know, this is a realistic rendition of uh, those times in feudal Japan, and then they said, oh, and by the way, Attack that giant crab for massive damage. So that's what this this game was. I had the PS2 version of Genji. I yep. was a prequel or a sequel. I had one as a kid. Yeah, so did you know, um, here's where the weird connect the dots come in. So, mm -hmm. the same developers of Genji, mm -hmm. Folklore. Seriously? Yeah. I didn't know that. Both published by Sony as well, so. Definitely one of those early games. Why oh, you say that? Delivers true next generation gameplay. Integrating an epic storyline with action, adventure, fighting, and RPG gameplay mechanics. Unlike anything ever seen before. You've literally never seen anything before this. 
like it. He didn't love till you played this game. <laughs> Give me like very. Oh, I see that coming. <laughs> it's a cheap shot. Yeah, so these these are all fixed viewpoints. Yeah, I tried to change the camera and it didn't work for me. Can't got sick of me messing up. All all joking aside, is the is the giant enemy crab still in here, or did they take that? Did they take that out after the uh, all the joking? Not sure. All the memes. I'd love to see it. I would, I'd like to see it too. In fact, I'd love to see. Is that not blocking? What button is this then? Yeah, I, I don't think I would be too mad if I brought this home day one. I probably got definitely the camera though. They're really close. He's really zoomed in on him, which kind of annoys me. Yeah. But he's kind of out all the people. Like, who was that? See, I, he was back there. The map is there, but you don't like see him. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes fixed camera points, I can't stand them. Yeah, I couldn't see that guy. That might stop me from playing this. I mean, I get the map is there, but I want to see the actual enemies out of the face. There you go. They're right in front of you. Well, good luck getting them. There we go. Ah, so NBA 2K7. 2K. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the one you had, right? Where you were buying these games, not Sony's NBA. 2K is what I've been buying. you buying 2K. my even current basketball right. life. You didn't have Sony San Diego's NBA. No, I had 2K from like the Dreamcast too when I was a kid too. Okay. So I really got into that stuff too. Who's on this team? Oh, this looks rough. They do look worse. <laughs> <laughs> that is glossy though. Not a fan of that. Smash. That's a much better jump. Yeah, it is a camera I know. Oh, yeah, with the, uh, yeah. just the whole horse wide. Like that TV That angle. wide shot. And squares to shoot. Yep. That's going to grow playing a lot. There. What some, I'll take that? it. I'll take it. <laughs> what is why, what, why was there so much emotion in his eyes? Literally. That's where his eyes right there. <laughs> Yeah, plays better. Definitely better. This is something I'm familiar with. So plays better, but Probably looks NBA yeah. 07 looks nicer. It's weird too, because the difference is actually, I would say, pretty big yeah. between the two. But if one plays better, it's it's kind of a done deal at that point. Need for Speed Car. Oh, yeah, man. Need for Speed game. I forgot about Need for Speed. You don't play these either, do you? No. Have you ever had any of them? I play Midnight Club. Okay. It's not that, but the kind of <laughs> that kind of racing game about by my knowledge is Midnight Club. Yeah, I I'll, burnout as a kid. I'll give you that. That's <laughs> burnout. Fair. It's kind of that same. They're similar. That ballpark of Need for Speed. No, aren't you a big Need for Speed guy? Need for Speed guy yourself, though. Yes, I like Need for Speed a lot, but I've never played Carbon. At least to you, then, man. It's expertise. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Need for Speed game without, you know, cutscenes like this. Whether it's animated or they go with like. Cringy live action. Yeah. But it would not be Need for Speed without scenes like this. See those skills, man. Yeah, this makes... A real person yeah. comes Yeah, <laughs> these mix of scenes. Just throw me up. Oh, yeah. I can get down with this. Okay. Oh, God. I... <laughs> you can bring a wingman into many races. So where do you think this sits as a launch game? Because now we're looking at racers, right? So you've got Ridge Racer and this. And that's really your day one, your only options. I mean, it looks good. They run fine. I think the biggest problem for me at launching, I feel like even as now as a gamer, as long as it plays fun, as long as it plays right. My biggest thing, I don't mind the games, is I guess you could say it kind of sucks a bit. I mean, I started having frame rate issues, started playing weird, controls just bad, yeah. lagging out of the menus. kind of like, to me, the bad turns me off completely. Even the beginning, like, to get to the game starts. So you just want you just want it to... Uh, give me something that I can play. Yeah. I got a new yeah. console, like... Right. Even if it's not the best... Yeah, literally. As long as it works. Right, that's, the, that's the big thing about me, man. It just can't... It just, it just can't be like that. That that turns me off completely any game I play. Call of Duty 3. That did come out too, did Call of Duty... Yeah, this was a launch title. Oh, man. And this was the title... I mean, this was the game before the big one. Yeah, four blew life. the franchise up. <laughs> but I don't think the vast majority of folks were really playing this franchise three and under. No. That I, at least me personally, I can't speak for them, but for me, no. Still with Call of Duty, though. Still that same feel. It feels a bit heavier, I would say. They made it way lighter on Call of Duty 4. It's a bit more arcade feeling now you think about, the, you think about this one and that one. Yeah, it's just it's uh, the there's some weight to the to everything you do. 
can't even resist the fall of man feels. Well, I'd say, it, I, even resistance, I think, feels looser than this. I wouldn't say that much, though. Yeah, so it seems like, uh, at least before Call of Duty became what it is today, a, a new IP like Resistance actually beat it out at the time on PS3, mind you. Seems like that was the one to uh, to buy if you were only going to get one first-person shooter. Yeah, I guess that's for me. I mean, that's what I enjoyed a lot of. Yeah, Madden 07. Yeah, it hit me later on. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they come out every year. I don't think has Madden ever missed a release year, like on a even if a it was a new platform. I'm gonna, it, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'm a high chance saying no. Yeah, I've never I, seen him miss one. They're, they're on time every year, so. And pretty consistent. Uh, your sports game. Wow, this is not running great. Yeah. Bad start. That I remember. I mean, PS the. Well, the older console versions run, ran at sixty, right? They always targeted sixty. Could not honestly tell you. I'm fairly certain they always targeted sixty. They ran well, but I can tell you exactly sixty. I cannot tell you, but this is definitely just a rough intro. Yeah. Uh, Jeez, the laggy tackle. <laughs> they skipped two frames to get there. <laughs> Holy smokes, that was weird. Uh, that was exciting. I was short. For a, for a short moment. Well, it... So would it be fair to say that, uh, you know, if you're a Madden person, this is kind of like always a an instant buy? Yeah. Same on launch day. My family's bought these games, I don't know how many times in a row. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a immediate thing. You don't contemplate it. It's just like if you were always buying them then then you did it here. I got a rule about 2K that when I buy them I skip a year. And if, that, the, second, that, if the next year sucks like they say like it runs good crap and doesn't yeah. play well I will skip that too. I've heard that. People will skip. They'll do every other year. Yeah I skip a year. Now what else did day one have? Not sure. I might have guessed at this point man. Play, yeah. PlayStation Store. Yeah. PSN. Mm -hmm. So a day one PlayStation 3 launch game was uh, here, Blast Factor. Oh god. Yeah. This is the first PSN title on day one. It wasn't like that, uh, really game. Wasn't Stardust close to that too? Stardust came slightly after. Blast Factor was there day one. Um, I think it was $5.99. Mm -hmm. So this is like the first, like, at least on PlayStation, mind you. Online storefront, bite-sized game for, you know, a small fee. What's it like again? I forgot. We're gonna find out. So basic research was the the normal game, and then they had two DLC after a while. Advanced research and hybrid research. Mm -hmm. But basic research, this was what you got for, again, I'm pretty sure it was $6. Why did you that game from Sly Cooper? That's what it is. Huh? Uh, Bentley's little mini game. What, like yeah, Bentley's Mommy, backpack or something? Yeah, Mommy. <laughs> I never played this game. Well, it's a twin stick, but it's still a twin stick shooter. It's, it's its own thing. Very nice, crisp 1080p. So here's, here's a little trivia for you. Do you know who made this game? No. Blue Point. Really? Yeah, it's, not only is this their first game, but it's their only original game. Up to the day that we're filming this. Because after this, they're well known for doing, you know, remakes and ports and remasters. They do Demon Souls. Yeah, they did the Demon Souls remake, Shadow of the Colossus. They did a lot of PS3 HD collections. Oh, I died. But this was their first game, and it was a completely original title. So that was pretty much everything. Yeah. What do you think? Or here, let me ask you this: Day one, you get three games. Mm -hmm. I think that's generous. Okay. <laughs> But what three games are you getting? You know Resistance got to be one of them. Resistance is one. That's my default. Yeah, that's... I think most would maybe pick that one. I'll take my 2K. Call it basketball. Okay, 2K. NBA. So you're going 2K over NBA 07. Yeah, I think it's... Graphically, 07 looked good. Mm -hmm. Like the, how the sweat and the glitz, the way it looked, how the animation kind of looks pretty good, but I like the gameplay of 2K. Comes that's with gonna... It. Yeah, that's gonna take it. And that third game, I'm not up and there with that one. They're all pretty fall in that bracket of... Maybe Tony Hawk kind of like my skateboarding games, but yeah, that is not like I wouldn't, you know. Well, it's familiar. It's yeah. a franchise, you know. It's a safety net, I guess, for me, but I'd, I'd probably go with Tony Hawk 2K, and I'd probably go Resistance by default, which is my favorite. Okay. I'd say Marvel, but it rains so poorly where I'd 
I, I, but at the time, I think you would have gone Marvel. As a kid, yeah. You wouldn't have known better. Right, as a kid, you, I'm looking at new graphics, new animations, new effects. Yeah. It blinds me. And that's what's but weird. But foresight of being older. <laughs> that's what's weird about when I was going through all these again and looking at the Metacritic scores, and I'm like, wow, this reviewed really well for what came out in a really bad shape. Yeah. And they were re-reviewed on PS3 because that there was that time delta of them launching on 360 and then PS3 came out. So mm -hmm. they had to look at these games again right. and thinking, yeah, this this is good. Yeah. So what do you think then? What's your pick? Yeah, pick three. Well, yeah. Resistance. Okay. And then I think I would have to go Tony Hawk as well because mm -hmm. I just really like Tony Hawk. Yeah. Um, I never had Need for Speed. That might be a candidate for me. That alongside, oddly enough, Genji. It seems, well, it appeared, and I'm trying to put myself in that frame frame of mind back then, which I had the console a few days after launch, but mm. I did not have any, you know, extra money to buy anything outside of Resistance. Mm. So I didn't get those extra games until a few months later. Right. Tony Hawk was one of them. Mm. I never got to Genji. I think I would have liked that day one. Uh, same for Carbon, but for me, eventually then... You know, March 2007, we saw Motorstorm roll in and then mm -hmm. Heavenly Sword, stuff like that. So um, that's likely what I would have done had I had that budget back then. Right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't just yet, please consider subscribing for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube and possibly more videos like this. Uh, thank you, Terrell, for joining me yet again in another, another video. It's been right, no problem. Good to see you, know, good to see you again in the while, videos. Yeah. And back on the channel for a little bit. So possibly more like that. Um, you can also follow me on Twitter at Mystic Ryan, and that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.